Hello everyone, it's me once again. It's Friday. Hope you guys are excited about the weekend. So, we all know that Anki is now shut down. <laughs> Thousands of times you heard it by now. But this is something that doesn't make sense to me. I am assuming that Anki has frozen the cloud. In other words, the cloud data has its own sort of stored up information. But this doesn't make sense. So someone needs to explain to me on this. So here it goes. So let's ask Victor the question about current weather. Hey, Victor. What's the weather like? Yeah, so there you go. So I know Google Home is saying that it's 14 degrees, so they're more detailed. So it was 16 degrees about 10 minutes ago, but Anki Vector seems to have a data source feed of the current weather. In other words, there's a live feed of um, current weather, which seems to be um, something that, make, well, it's, it's good that somehow there's data feed, ongoing data feed to the cloud database system, clearly. So I'm gonna ask uh, Victor another question. Hey, Victor, question. No, you don't need to do that, okay. Hey, Victor, question. Current stock value of McDonald's. Okay, so the stock value, let's see what the um, Google say, is that, yes, it's 198.31. So it's almost similar to what Vector has said, but that Vector's data is, was based on yesterday's data. So in other words, what I'm trying to get at is that um, Vector's cloud database seems to have live feeds into it and this is something where someone like me who comes from a non-IT background uh, don't understand but I find this quite interesting so somehow we got a live data feed for Vector in other words Vector is still very much alive but regards to Anki's updates that's something that it seems we're not going to get but ongoing information that we enjoy we can either get it from vector or from amazon alexa like this so i just thought i would make this video to encourage you guys so um thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp all the best have a nice weekend bye bye <laughs>